So, 2019, let's start this week on Tuesday because yesterday was just in the office, first day back, working, 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 drinking coffee at my desk. You know what that looks like. Today though, I have dropped the kids at school and then got straight on a train into London. So it's only just gone half past nine and I'm very excited about it because together with Frankie, who I met on Instagram, who runs Doing It For The Kids, we are both gonna have a go at co-mentoring, helping each other out with our businesses and our side projects. And I'm really looking forward to it and seeing what comes out of it. The idea for this whole co-mentoring thing came from Frankie over at Love Audrey. In fact, her and her co-mentor Charlie now have a podcast where they record during their co-mentoring sessions. So Frankie and I spent four hours. There was a lot of laughing, but a lot of really useful stuff. So looking forward to seeing how that pans out. The last few days I've been writing a blog post about podcasting, like the equipment that you need to start a podcast. And that's because I get asked that question a lot. And people always say, don't they? Write about what you know. Answer the questions that your audience is asking you. Turns out they're right. Like it was so much easier to write that blog post because of those two factors. I'm not really making grand resolutions for 2019. What I am trying to do is tweak the things that I can see are nearly working, but not quite working. Social media can be brilliant, but can also massively distract me. Email, likewise. Just with those two things for starters, I'm trying to perfect the way I use them. And one thing I'm doing, when I get into the co-work space over there in a few minutes, I'm going to sit down and work on a project. I'm not going to open my email, I'm going to work for an hour and a half and then I'll come to my email. At the end of 2018, I was getting into the habit of buying coffee and buying lunch almost every day. This year, trying harder to remember to make a lunch and to take coffee with me into the co-work space. Other than recording a Being Freelance podcast, today is all about doing the final mix on a video. It's like 20 minutes long, so it takes a lot of precision and care, but the client is loving it, I'm loving it, so it is all good. But yeah, I have to get that done today. It's Saturday. Something I said. It's Saturday night. My wife's away this weekend, so all day today has been family stuff. But what I have also done is finally set up the Being Freelance community on Facebook, which is something I have thought about doing for years. I've even spoken about doing it on here. I have all these conversations with cool people from around the world. And I don't just mean my guests, I mean like people who email me and stuff. And I, I would love the idea to bring that together. Anyway, setting up the group was very easy. And you can ask three questions it's like blind date. You can ask three questions. So I've done that. And one of them is a question asking for their email because I, I want to make sure that I can chat to these people whatever happens to Facebook. As in, what's to say people join your group but then you can't reach out to them and things like that. So that then meant I went into MailChimp and taught myself more about MailChimp than I used to know. That's where I'm at. Now my computer is updating itself and I'm gonna go to bed. It's like 11 o'clock. I keep meaning to go to bed at like 10 and it's always 11. I'm not quite sure how that happens, but anyway.
get paid up front. That's the secret sauce to freelance life is get paid first. If you don't, you're always going to be on the back foot. It's a relief because honestly, I know people listen to the podcast, but what if they don't? <laughs> what if they don't want to join this, you know? It's like organising a party and no one comes. I don't normally work this late, but I really needed to finish that particular video. I promised it would be ready for Monday. I wanted to keep my word and make sure they got it, whilst also keeping my other word, which is to go and do some mentoring at a university tomorrow. So if I'd have worked on Monday on the video, I would have had to have let the mentoring people down. So I did want to let Eva down, so I've stayed up. And while it's been mixing out, I've also been going through and adding more people to the Being Freelance community. There's just so many. <laughs> but each one, I read the answers to my questions. And then because I ask for their email, I then go over to MailChimp and make sure it's all integrated in there and that they're tagged as a member of the community. So each one takes a few minutes to sort of process. I don't want to keep those people waiting. Not that anything has happened in there really yet. Tomorrow, I will kick things off properly. I'm excited about that. It's gonna be good.